Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy House tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing an update to my HDRI tutorial in Cycles 4D. In build 294, Insidium had some large updates to the CY environment, and we're just going to cover those and how you can use those updates in an HDRI workflow. So first thing we're going to do is add the CY environment. See here it's added a CY environment and a material. Down here, if you click on the background material, you'll see you have your node set up just like you previously had to have it set up. You've got your output node, your background node, and then an image texture with your HDRI piped into there. You can still use this method. You can come over to the attribute manager and navigate to the HDRI texture that you want to use. But what I would recommend is to use one of the new features. Go to edit, preferences, in your preferences, go down to Renderer, click on Cycles 4D, and right here where it says HDRI folder, you're gonna to navigate to where you keep all of your HDRI files stored. I have all of mine together. Uh, I actually have them on my Dropbox so that I have access to them across my work computer, my laptop, uh, offices that I work at, and it just makes them easily accessible. If I add more, they get updated everywhere. So once you have that pointed to that folder, go ahead and restart Cinema 4D. Add your CY environment again. If you come down to HDR and click Open HDRI, you'll see here you have a new HDR browser. I have all the Grayscale Gorilla Packs plus a bunch of other HDRIs. You can just click through them and you get instant access to all these different HDRIs. You can see you can go through the different folders. Okay. So other updates to the CY environment. You can now control the rotation right here in the coordinates. So click on the CY environment, go to the coordinates, and if you rotate, you can see that the environment is rotating back there. Any rotations will work. So you can roll it side to side, up and down. You can roll it um, you can all that controlled just directly on the CY environment object. If you wanted to do it the old way, you can come into your node editor. You're gonna add in a mapping node that in then add in a texture coordinate node use generated and then to rotate you're going to grab the Y axis and you can then rotate your environment around back on the CY environment object we're going to zero out the rotation let's look at some other settings if you come under object you've got mist pass and ambient occlusion you can use the mist pass in your multi-pass settings so you can set up a z pass or the mist pass or both but this is where you would change the settings for your mist pass then you've got ray visibility so if you don't want to be able to see your environment back here so you're going to render to an alpha channel you're going to turn off the camera visibility and now you've got the hdri lighting your scene but it is no longer visible i'm going to add this black glossy material to demonstrate the next section Let's go ahead and turn the camera visibility of it off again. Okay, so if we come down here and we uncheck the diffuse, we see now the only thing that we're getting in this scene is the reflection from the HDRI. It is no longer lighting the scene. You're getting some bounce light off of the reflections that are hitting the floor, but other than that, there is no, HDRI is no longer adding light into the scene. So this could be nice if you had a nice setup, but you just needed some kind of extra reflections in there for some realism. Um, you know, that's not the best lighting, but that's how you would use it. If you turn the diffuse back on and uncheck the glossy, now you have the opposite. You've got your lighting, you've got your shadows being cast from the environment, but you're no longer seeing the environment in your object. Down here, you have the map resolution. Say you needed to see your environment in your render it is capping it at 2048 right now 
if you had an 8K or a 16 texture that you wanted to be able to see with your image in render, then you would want to bump up this map resolution. Okay, well, I think that about covers it for the updates to the CY environment and the HDRI workflow. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys later.